Hey guys, this is Natural Instincts. Um, from my understanding, this game is kind of like a Sims uh, type style game, uh, but instead of people, you're catering to animals and uh, stuff like that. Game is not yet out, but it will be going live on a Kickstarter. European forests. A land inhabited by plenty of fascinating species that form Which together a perfectly thing. balanced ecosystem. Our journey begins in one of those forests. However, to be able to fully experience the richness of these woods, we must learn how to move around them. Let's start by learning how to move the camera. To do so, press W, A, S, D, or arrows on your keyboard. You can oh also God. drag the mouse along the edge of the screen. To rotate the camera, hold the middle mouse button and move the mouse right or left. You can zoom the camera out and then zoom it back. Once you know how to control the camera, your first task is to look around the map and find the rabbit. This fluffy animal is certainly gambling somewhere in the grass. Uh, I wish I could use right click to do that. Oh, there's no keybind option. Ah, okay. It's fine. To select a group of animals, hold the left mouse button and drag the rectangle over as many of them as you want to select. Sometimes it will be necessary to select all animals visible on the screen quickly. To do so, double click on the chosen animal. In this case, when an animal is selected, you get access to its statistics panel. There, you now you know where to look for information about animals. Try to find a hungry rabbit on the map. Those little creatures feed on many distinct plants, such as young bushes, saplings, or berries. However, one of their favorite food is clover, which they can find plenty of in the local green fields. Now that they are fed, rabbits can do something else. It's high time to search for a source of water. Fortunately, there are many ponds and streams available nearby. Some of these animals are thirsty. Now that the basic needs of those magnificent creatures are satisfied, we can observe the start of their mating ritual. As the male approaches the female, they start performing a sort of dance, where the female fights off the male until he proves to be the worthy partner. the animal is not ready for reproduction. This rabbit looks like it's ready to fuck. Let's go. This one looks like it's cowering. It's definitely not ready. The animal is not ready for reproduction. 
Is it the blue one? I, I tried clicking it so many times. Oh, it's this guy, maybe. The guy that was hella thirsty. That is really thirsty. You know what I mean. The animal is not ready for reproduction. I, I clicked on one. Yeah. The animal is not ready for reproduction. Okay, so you gotta left click and then right click. I think. It's the two blue ones. Is that what's going on here? Wait for the rabbit festivities to end. Okay. Yo, he's, he's plowing it. After mating, saw that. the rabbits have to go to their shelter. Unfortunately, they don't have one yet. Go ahead and assign them a burrow in which they can hide and rest. So it didn't teach me about this view yet, but I kind of just figured it out by pressing a bunch of buttons. So when the European rabbit is not feeding or mating, they prefer to spend their time underground. They stay in deep burrows made out of a series of tunnels reaching a couple of meters in depth. There, they spend most of their time hidden away from predators and unwanted guests. This is where our rabbits are now. They went underground to find a safe and cozy place to give birth. Looks like another species has arrived in the forest. Wild boars have entered the area searching for food and shelter. It seems that they will need some help. Wild boars are omnivorous. Although they don't hunt, they sometimes eat carrion. However, they feed mainly on what they find in the undergrowth or by etching in the ground. It includes acorns, earthworms, rhizomes of plants, mushrooms, insects, and rodents, whose barrows they can find thanks to their sensitive sense of smell. The amount of food in a given area is limited, and it is not always enough for all animals. So as it is now, there is no more food for boars on this side of the road. They have to get across the street. As the human influence on the animal kingdom grows, the animals are facing more dangers than ever before. Not only do they have to run away from the predators, but they also have to avoid humans whose actions are constantly threatening their lives. I gotta save the boar. No, you gotta come back now, here, buddy. as they have already crossed the road and finished eating, wild boars need some rest. To this end, they go to their nest, which are usually covered with litter, dry grass, or branches. This animal is tired. Oh, shit. Okay. Predators are an inherent part of the proper ecosystem, and their presence helps regulate the number of other animals. A wolf, known for its hunting skills, has arrived in the forest in the search for prey. However, he can't hunt a nearby boar pack alone. He must look for a smaller animal to hunt. Fortunately, rabbits are playing on the other side of the road. This is an excellent target for a hungry predator. The only thing that divides the wolf and its meal is a dangerous road. So what you're saying is, 
I should put him on the road. Suggest the wolf to go and kill the rabbit. I mean... He's probably gonna get hit anyway, right? I will just wait a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay. No cars. This time. Dang. After crossing the road, the wolf spotted a herd of rabbits nearby. Known for their excellent hearing and speed of movement, rabbits are a challenge for the untrained hunter. However, this particular wolf knows well how to approach and attack his unsuspecting target. I don't want the rabbit to die. Oh, there's a groundhog. I think he's going after this one here. I'm sorry, man. It's a good thing he just made it. The animal world is governed by the laws of nature, even if sometimes they may seem brutal to us. Unfortunately, for this particular rabbit, life has ended its course. But for others, it just starts going on. Look, a bunch of small defenseless bunnies has just appeared next to the rabbit hole. Charming. However, where new life begins, instructions end. Now you know how to take care of the forest and its fauna all by yourself. Good luck then. Alright, that looks like that concludes the tutorial. Got an achievement there. Uh, let's see. So, the wolf is on the hunt. Sorry, he's just kind of chilling. Let's see if I can give this guy some water. Is he going? A lot of sleeping zones. All right, let this guy drink up. What's going on with these rabbits? Oh, this one's ready to hump. What's uh where's this guy going? Didn't I tell him to European go rabbits water? are extremely social animals, and thus they live in huge communities. Yeah, yeah, come over here, drink this water, bud. Is there another one nearby? Ah, 
this guy's not ready to get it in. There's a deer here. This guy needs some water. Dude, all these guys looking thirsty, man. We need to address the thirst issues here. Where are they? Where'd he go? Oh, maybe he is going. This guy's way out over here. Is that a wolf? What is this? It's a wolf. Goddamn wolf. What's this? What's this? Is this another wolf? Oh, it's a boar. Oh shit. He ab hey, 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 go back. Oh, he changed his mind? Oh. Oh, he, he mauled it. He didn't care. An animal has died. I mean, yeah. Natural instinct. Alright, this guy's ready to hump. This guy's not ready to hump. I go over there, man. I wonder if this, uh... Where are the rabbits at? Oh, here's one. Man, none of these rabbits have... the mating. I need them to mate. Oh, this guy's ready. Okay. So this one... And that Animals one. are of the same sex. What? So what? You trying to say something? Alright. So, let's see. That one, okay, that's the same sex. Better drink some of that water. Find very thirsty rabbits and suggest them water. Oh, yeah, I think I was already doing that. I mean, An animal has died. What? Who, who's died on my watch? Holy shit, there's like animals everywhere. Hold on. Where these rabbits go? Alright, let's get these guys to drink. Uh, who is over here? We're just gonna do a wide zone click. An animal has died. I guess I'm dying. So one nice thing would be if maybe the like where you're clicking was like I don't know a different color because it doesn't. It's, not, it's like really hard to when see. When the European rabbits sense danger, they thump their back feet on the ground to alarm others of the community before escaping the dangerous ground. 
Maybe if there's like a... An animal has died. Okay, man. So yeah, like I was saying, maybe if like... You can choose the color... For the destination pointer icon or whatever you want to call it. Like make it like a red or a dark blue or something, well, you know, something that's... So you can see it. It's like nearly transparent, parent currently. Um... Wait, what am I... See, I can't even tell if I'm clicking this or not. Look at all these rabbits! Okay, that looked like that worked. Except they're not going. Why is it not going there? Oh, snap. Oh, the wolf just ran past. He didn't even acknowledge it. Hmm. What's this buck doing? The stag. Where? Are the rabbits actually going now? Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay, nice. Look at that whole family. Hey, wait, what? Come over here. I need you guys to drink up. The European rabbit prefers open spaces where it has the highest visibility and can quickly detect a threat. I try to give these these rabbits some water, man. Oh, they're all full. I guess they really drink like super fast. Some of these animals are thirsty. Yeah, I don't really see which ones are thirsty though. That's my issue. Like if I click on them, I could see which ones are thirsty. Like this guy's thirsty, okay. But he's probably gonna run past a wolf and everything. This, this animal thirsty is too. thirsty. Yeah, I can see that. So I sent him over there. So I wonder if in this game we'll get like crafting materials, like building stuff. Like, maybe manually build shelters and, I don't know, stuff like that. An animal has died. Animals keep dying, man. I'm really interested to see where the development goes with this game. Will they allow us to build like stalls or something like that for animals and things of that nature. Try to help um, isolate them from threats. So on and so forth. This 
This is all we have prepared for the demo version of the Natural Instincts. You can continue the game, but with a limited number of goals to achieve. If you'd like to consider supporting the game on Kickstarter and help us add more content, or follow the game on Steam and Facebook to always be up to date with its current state. Awesome. Very interesting game. So it's basically The Sims, but with animals. Um, I do see there's like the hideouts or whatever you want to call them. Like the sleeping zones. Um, I think it's pretty cool that there's animals that can attack one another. What's this guy this going to animal do? is thirsty. Maybe there'll be an option to uh, landscape modify to, you know, adjust where you want water instead of it being like a big giant pond like in this particular instance, which is very threatening. I mean, you have to put a wolf over here, you gotta put the rabbits, you gotta put a whole bunch of other things. So I mean, it would be really cool to have a lot of customization like that, and I think the developers will likely do that, or at least I'm hoping. Because I'd really love to... Do stuff like that. Uh, as well as manually place food and other things and resources. Kind of be like a park control. Uh, like a park... Like, you know, a person that runs around a park or some sort of area. Feeding animals and stuff like that. Keeping them alive. In any case, yeah, I guess that's going to wrap it up, as it is a very limited demo, but uh, thanks for hooking up the key, I appreciate it guys, and uh, I will leave a link in the description below for the Kickstarter, for anyone that wants to support the game, uh, if you enjoyed The Sims, as you can tell, it's much like that. The game is still in development, so... Expect to see a lot of additions, changes, things of that nature. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next. I really want to make these two rabbits fuck before I go, actually. Or a deer, maybe. God damn it.